Welcome, friends. So uh, the previous day, what happened is that there were some internet issues. Due to that, I was not able to complete the video. So that some can be uh, completed. There's nothing extra to be done. Only one entry was left. So as I told you, that we'll be having three sums. So previous day we have already done one sum, and because of internet issues, I told you there was some uh, problem in the recording and uploading the video. Today we'll continue with the rest of the two sums and we'll finish this chapter. Okay. So uh, let's start. So, uh, in that of a partner, as we have already seen, what was there is that <coughs> uh, the amount of money were to be finally given to the executor, right? Uh, so, that is what we are learning. So, we will take one more sum today that is here. Following is the balance sheet of Punita, Rashi, uh, Rashi and uh, Sima, who are sharing profits in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 2 as on 31st of March 2013 okay this is the ratio 2 is to 1 is to 2 and uh, the record has been given of the balance sheet on 31st of March 2013 right so it is given that in the liability side we have creditors bills payable capital right and in the asset side we have got building stock debtors cash at bank and profit and loss account so from the balance sheet we have to ascertain what is the accumulated loss or accumulated profit that is going to transfer to the capital account so that is only profit and loss account is there 60000 right after that what happened punita died so punita is having a share of 2 by 5 right 2 by 5 so remember that uh, punita died on 30th september 2013 so what is our year ending 31st march and punita died on 30 september that means how many months she was alive april may june july and september so six months she was alive right so uh, the all the treatment will be done for six months she had withdrawn 44000 from her capital on july 1 2013 okay the drawings were how much 44000 on july 1 2013 so remember that according to the partnership agreement she was entitled to interest in capital at the rate of 8% she will be getting interest in capital of 8% okay one thing try to understand here she has withdrawn from her capital that means it is a deduction of capital okay it's not uh, exactly drawings it is um, deduction from the capital okay the deduction from the capital okay so uh, the part that is a drawing that is okay there's no problem in that but remember that it's not exactly that drawing that we generally find here he has withdrawn, uh, she has withdrawn from the capital. So this 44,000 will be taken as a drawing, no doubt in that. Okay, that will be taken as a drawing. But at the same time, this amount, while you will uh, calculate the capital, interest on capital, at the time you have to consider this amount. Okay, while, uh, while considering the interest on capital, you have to take into account this 44,000 also. Okay, like any drawing, this is also a drawing, but it is not exactly that type of drawing because it has been withdrawn from the capital directly. So that means what? The capital is reducing here 44,000. So she will, uh, that is, Punita will get interest on her capital. How much? First of all, she will get on 1 lakh. Okay. On 1 lakh, she is going to get for how many months? She withdrew for, um, okay, just a minute. Just see there. She, she has withdrawn 44,000 from her capital on July 1, 2013. That means March uh, 31st is our year ending, right? So how many months are we getting before the drawings has been done? April, May, June, right? Three months. So for three months, interest will be given on 144,000. And then again, July, August, September, remaining three months, interest will be given on 1 lakh. Because from 1 lakh 44, 1 lakh 44,000 was withdrawn. Okay. Then I'll show you for your understanding so that you can easily understand that. So the interest will be calculated like this. Interest on capital will be calculated as first for one lakh forty thousand okay first one lakh forty thousand just a minute in this requirement of some adjustment yeah so okay so first 
one lakh forty thousand will be given interest of what is the interest rate that is given according to partnership deed? She was entitled to interest and capital at the rate of eight percent, right? So eight percent, eight by hundred, right? For how many months? Three months. Okay. Plus, she is also going to get interest on the remaining amount, which is going to be after the drawings, right? After the drawings, what is the amount that we have to find out? That is here. It will be how much? Plus on one lakh, it will be again eight percent. This time again for three months. The remaining three months, okay? Remaining three months. Okay. So this is how the calculation for interest and capital will be done. Okay. This is the key point here. I hope all of you understood this point. Okay. So. Uh, Let's see what will be the amount here. It will be here eight percent if we do. I can just directly we can find it out. There's no problem in that. Okay, working note has been. Uh, this need to be shown in the working note. Okay, be careful. This need to be shown in the working note. We can just make the calculation and you can find it out. It will be four eight eight zero. Okay. This will be the amount, right? Then coming to the next one, her share of profit till the date of death will, was to be calculated on the basis of three year, three times of the average profit of the last four years. Okay, three times of the average profit of the last four years means whatever the last four years profit is there, that last four years profit we are going to take for how many months? For uh, into three. Okay, into three. The last average profit into three will be the profit, right? It is that uh, for the purpose of goodwill? Okay. That means what is given here? Hard share of profit till the date of death was to be calculated on the basis of average profit. We have to find out first the average profit of the last three years. Okay. Fine. Then goodwill was to be calculated on the basis of three times the average profit. There are two parts. One that the average um, that hard share will be given. That is punita share of good um, share of profit will be given on the basis of last three years profit and. The goodwill will be calculated on the basis of three times the average profit of the last four years. Whatever the profit will be there for the last four years, on the basis of that, multiplied by three. Okay, average profit of the last four years multiplied by three. Okay, because three times the average profit of the last four years. The profit for the years were like this: 2009, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12. It is given 30,000, 70,000, and 80,000. Right. So three years respectively, it has been given here. And we can see that uh, our <coughs> year ending is what 31st March 2013. So here we can see it is 10, 11. It is given 10, uh, 9, 10 is given, 10, 11 is given, 11, 12 is given, as well as 12, 13 is also given because our year ending is 2013. So this is 12, 13. What is where it is given the profit? Here in the balance sheet, asset side. Here, 60,000 in your Test also I get such a sum. So try to understand that here is the profit. Okay. The profit is lying here. The current year's profit is 60,000. It is not profit actually. It is in the asset side. That means it is a loss. Okay. The accumulated loss. Okay. It is a current year's loss. How much? 60,000. Okay. So the current year it is a loss of 60,000. In the previous three years it was a profit of 30,000, 70,000 and 80,000. Okay. So we can find out the goodwill also. We can find out both the average profit. Um, Punita share of profit as well as also goodwill. So profit will be found out on the basis of last three years profit. So last three years profit is how much? Don't take 2009-10 here. Last three years we are going to take now for the profit. What is told here? Just see our share of profit till the date of death was to be calculated on the basis of the average profit. Okay, average profit karna hai. Of what? Of the last three years. Pichle teen saal ka. Pichle teen saal matlab. एक साल तो मिल गया हम लोग का ये वाला 2012 13 वाला कितना है लॉस 60000 का ये एक मिल गया और क्या पकड़ना है हम लोगों उल्टा जाना है ना तो एक मिलेगा 80000 और एक मिलेगा 70000 मतलब क्या-क्या मिला एक साल लॉस है दैट इज 12 13 का लॉस 60000 11 12 का प्रॉफिट 80000 एंड 2010 11 का प्रॉफिट 70000 ओके सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट द प्रॉफिट सो यू कैन सी हियर the profit for 2010-11 it was 70,000. Profit for 11-12 it was 80,000. And 
in the year 2012 13 we have made a loss of 60000 so ultimately if we find a total profit it is 90000 obviously loss will be minus right so it is coming 90000 so average will be how much 90000 divided by 3 it is 30000 so 30000 will be the average profit for the last 3 years that means what will be uh, punita share punita share will be 30000 into her share her share was how much it was 2 by 5 right 2 by 5 for how many months 6 months so 2 by 5 into 6 by 12 so you can see here average profit is 30000 30000 okay 30000 into you can do directly like this 30000 into 2 by 5 into 6 by 12 it will come 6000 okay you can do this way or the other way as i am telling both are correct okay 30000 into 2 by 5 into 6 by 12 that is 2 by 5 is punita share and 6 by 12 for the 6 month right it is coming 6000 clear okay so punita share of profit will be 6000 now let's go for the goodwill goodwill will be calculated for the last 4 4 years right so we have seen the 30000 70000 80000 plus there is a loss actually it's not a plus it will be minus 60000 because it is a loss right so the goodwill will be calculated on the basis of 4 years profit so uh, 2000 in the year 2014 we have what you can see that it 2009 10 we have a profit of 3000 12 11 we have a profit of 70000 11 12 we have a profit of 80000 but 12 13 we have a loss of 60000 so after doing the netting we are getting how much 1 lakh 20000 is the total profit for the last 4 years which is coming to as the average profit of 30000 again so average profit for the last 3 years is how much last 4 years is how much 30000 right so total goodwill will be how much into 3 because you can see in the question it is mentioned that the goodwill was to be calculated on the basis of 3 times the average profit 3 times of the average profit of last 4 years so whatever the average profit will be there into 3 So it is thirty thousand into three, so ninety thousand is a goodwill, right? And what will be Punita shares? Only two by five, directly two by five, right? Don't calculate goodwill in months, okay? Because it is a work of many many days, many many months, many many years, okay? So it is not calculated on the basis of month. So Punita share of goodwill will be ninety thousand into two by five, okay? Ninety thousand into two by five, it is thirty six thousand. Here, it is thirty six thousand. So thirty six thousand will be borne by whom? Since the new ratio is not given. So it will be given borne by the continuing partner that is Rashi and Sima in the ratio one is to two. Okay, so this thirty-six uh, thousand will be borne by Rashi and Sima in the ratio one is to two. So let's start. First of all, what we are asked to prepare? Prepare Punita's account to be rendered to her executor. Okay, how much will be Punita's share? Let's see. It is CBSC simple paper based. So first of all, we'll give the opening balance. So opening balance is how much? One lakh forty thousand, right? So directly put the opening balance, buy balance brought down one lakh forty thousand. Clear? After that, immediately we saw that there is a profit and loss debit balance of sixty thousand. So that will be coming. So how much share will come? Two by five. So two by five of sixty thousand will be how much? Twenty four thousand. So it will come in the debit side because there is loss. So put uh, this capital debit side to profit and loss account sixty thousand into two by five twenty four thousand, right? Now let's come to the adjustment. First one is Punita dies on this date, and what happened? That she has withdrawn how much? Forty-four thousand from her capital. So drawings, drawings will come in the debit side. Two drawings, forty-four thousand. Okay. After that, why they are keeping drawing ahead? Because drawing has happened on first of July two thousand thirteen. That is why. Okay. And this profit and loss has been given on which date? It is given on the date of that. That is thirty-first, thirtieth September two thousand thirteen. That is why the uh, drawings is coming ahead of profit and loss. Okay, then the next one is she was entitled to interest on capital of eight percent. So we already calculated, and so it is four thousand eight hundred. So it is by interest on capital four thousand eight hundred. Okay, after that, according to the partnership date, she was entitled to interest on capital of eight percent. That has been given by interest on capital four thousand eight hundred eighty. After that, her share of profit till the date of death. Was to be calculated on the basis of three times the average profit of the last four years. So that we have already calculated two things that the half share of profit till the date of death was to be calculated on the basis of average profit of the last three years. So that has been already calculated as six thousand. We saw that. So the entry is 
profit and loss suspense account debit to punitha's capital account so punitha's capital credit side by profit and loss suspense account 6000 right and the goodwill was to be calculated on the basis of three times the average profit so we have already calculated we have seen that the goodwill was how much 36000 which will be given by rashi and sima in the ratio 1 is to 2 so the journal entry will be like this rashi's capital account debit sima's capital account debit to punitha's capital account 36000 and how much will be grown by rashi and sima uh, that is in the ratio 1 is to 2, 36,000 will be distributed. Okay, so how much it is coming? One will be 18,000, and there will be, uh, sorry, it will be uh, one will be 12,000, and there will be 24,000, right? So it will be by Rashi's capital account 12,000, by Shima's capital account 24,000. Okay, now do the balancing, and you can see that the um, balancing figure is how much to Punita's executor 1,22,880. Okay, this generally comes for full mark. It is very very important type of questions. Okay, there's a working note also. You have to mention the working note properly. I hope all of you understood that. Now we will go to the next question, and we will take another sum. Uh, what is given here? Khanna, Shet, and Mehta were partners in a firm sharing profits in the uh, profit and loss in the ratio of five, three is to two is to one on thirty first. December 2010, the balance sheet of Kanna, Set, and Mehta was as follows. What was there? Uh, what was there in the balance sheet? In the liability side, we can see that we have got capital. Capital of Kanna three lakh, Set two lakh, Mehta five lakh. General reserve was there one lakh. Loan from Set, it will be loan to Set. Okay, fifty thousand. Um, Sorry, it is uh, correct. Loan from set means uh, we have taken loan. Okay, we have taken loan. It is correct. It is in the liability side. Fifty thousand. Then creditor will be seventy-five thousand. Then goodwill is appearing. So we have to write it off. Three lakh. Then land and building is there. Machinery plan, stock, debtor, cash, profit and loss account is also there. That will also be transferred to partners capital. Okay, and general reserve will also be transferred to the capital along with goodwill. So after that, what is given? On fourteen September two thousand eleven, set died. 14 September, 14 March 2011, said died. That means how many days it was alive? You have to count it, okay? Because um, it is coming in days, so you have to count in days. First of all, January 31st, you have got even so 35, 31 days, right? Again, February, you are getting how many days? 28 days. So 31 plus 28, it is coming 15, 59 days. Okay, then 59 plus 14, it is coming how much? 73 days. So again, I can see that the days, uh, the number of days set was alive was 73 days in this year, right? So 73 days should be taken for the purpose of giving the profit as well as interest and all. Okay. Then what is given the partnership date? The partnership is provided that on the death of a partner, the executor of the deceased partner is to be uh, given the balance in the capital account. Okay. The executor will get the balance. That is how much sets balance two lakh. Okay. Then share in the profit up to the date of death on the basis of last year's profit. What is uh, the share in the profit that we have to take? Share in the profit up to the date of death on the basis of last year's profit. Last year's balance we have to see. Okay. And uh, let's we'll find it out later. He share in the profit or loss and revaluation of assets and reassessment of liabilities were as follows. Okay. So we, uh, you have to give the um, revaluation, profit or loss, whatever it is. So land and building was to be appreciated 120,000. That means it will increase by 120,000. So it will come in the revaluation credit side, isn't it? Then machinery to be depreciated 135,000. Depreciated to 135,000. So two means you have to compare. Machinery, it was how much? 170,000. So depreciated to 35,000. 135 means what is the decreased value? It is 35,000. So machinery will be depreciated 35,000. So re revaluation will be debit 5,000. And again, stock to 25,000. Stock was how much? 30,000. So you have to bring it down to 25,000. So again, stock will be debited in the revaluation account, debit side, right? Stock will be debited in the revaluation debit side as 5,000 because 5,000 is a loss here. After that, a provision of 2.5% is to be made uh, for bad debt, bad and doubtful debt was to be created on debtor. Okay, provision of 2.5% for bad debt, bad and doubtful debt will be created on debtor. Okay, so how much is the provision? You have to find it out. Debtors were 120,000. So provision will be how much? 2.5%. You have to just find out how much the provision debtors. 120,000. So 2.5% will be, uh, it will be around 12, 12, 44, 24. 
um, it will be 3000 rupees right provision of 3000 rupees will have to be created on the data again revolution account will be debited for that the net amount payable to sets executor was transferred to his loan account which was to be paid later okay the net amount whichever the net amount whatever the amount is there is to be is payable to sets executor okay it will be payable to sets executor and was transferred to his loan account which was to be paid later later it will be transferred it will it was transferred to his loan account which will be paid on later on okay now prepare revaluation account partners capital account sets executor account and the balance sheet of Han, uh, kanna and mehta who decided to continue the business keeping their capital balance in their new profession ratio any surplus or deficit to be transferred to the current account of the partners okay so it is a complete question as well as the last question of this chapter so try to understand nicely so since it is asked that we will prepare the uh, newly constituted balance sheet also of khanna and mehta so it will be better if you prepare all the um, account of the partner like for capital also you prepare all the capital account okay so that you can find out the total balance or without that also you can do in the adjustment so what is asked here it is already asked the partner's account we have to prepare partner's capital account okay so let's start with the revaluation account so first of all in the revaluation what you have to do but remember as i have told you earlier also you can go with the complete uh, the complete sum you can go with um, the balance sheet starting from the balance sheet and taking the opening balance of capital and then accumulated profit or reserve whatever it is okay so you can start with that make all the formats revaluation account then partners capital account then executor account and balance sheet we can prepare later also no problem so we'll start with the opening balance khanna set and Mehta, buy balance brought down, right? It is buy balance brought down in the capital account, 3 lakh, 2 lakh and 5 lakh. Clear? After that, we will give the accumulated profit or reserve, whatever is there. In the, in the liability side, we can see there is a general reserve of 1 lakh. This general reserve of 1 lakh, what will happen? Automatically, it will be going in the credit side of the capital account. You know why, right? So, buy with general reserve. Mm, this profit will be uh, this general reserve of one lakh will be given the ratio three is to two is to five. That means thirty thousand, twenty thousand, and fifty thousand respectively. So you can see here by general reserve thirty thousand, twenty thousand, and fifty thousand respectively. Then coming to the next one, um, goodwill. Goodwill will be written off, so it will come in the asset um, in the debit side of the uh, in the debit side of the partners capital account. This three lakh will appear in the debit side of the partners capital account as ninety thousand, sixty thousand. And one lakh fifty thousand, right? You can see here, debit side of the partners capital account to goodwill ninety thousand, sixty thousand, one lakh fifty thousand. Okay, okay. Then next is the profit and loss account balance that is sixty thousand. So this will also be given in the ratio three is two, two is to one. Okay, that means eighteen thousand, twelve thousand, and thirty thousand. You can just see here, it will come in the debit side because it is also a loss. So two profit and loss account balance. 18,000, 12,000, 30,000, right? Good. Okay, now we'll go for the revaluation account. So in the revaluation, what will you do is that, first of all, you just see what are the items here. Land and building to be appreciated. I already told you appreciated means it's a profit for us. It's a gain for us. So it will come in the revaluation credit side. Buy land and building. One lakh 20,000, right? After that, the next one. Uh, machinery to be appreciated 1 lakh 35,000 uh, to 1 lakh 35. So we saw that the balance is how much 1 lakh 70 mi uh, minus 1 lakh 35 will become 35,000. So it will again come in the debit side to machinery account 35,000. Okay. And uh, stock to 25,000. Stock will be decreased to 25,000. Stock was how much 30,000. It will come down to 25. So it is 5,000 rupees loss. It will come in the revaluation debit side to stock 5,000. Okay. Then a provision of two and a half percent for bad and doubtful debt was to be created on debtors. So this again you have to create, as I already told you the calculation, it is six thousand three thousand. So it will come under this debit side. Two provision for doubtful debt, three thousand. Right? There's nothing else left, so we'll do the balancing, and we can see that there is a revaluation profit of seventy-seven thousand, and it has been transferred in the partner's capital in the ratio. 3 is to 2 is to 5. So, two partners capital account, Khanna is going to get 23,100. Set is going, going to get 15,400. And Mehta is going to get 38,500. So, this will come in the capital account as by revaluation bracket profit. 
Okay. By devaluation account, in the bracket, you can put profit 26,100, 15,400, and 38,500. Now, coming to the next one. Share of profit till the date of that will be taken as last year. So last year's profit we can see in the balance sheet it is there. Profit and loss account 60,000. So it's not a profit. It's again a loss because it's in the asset side. So how much will be uh, set share? Set share again it will be how much? 2 by 10. So 2 by 10 of 60,000 will be 12,000. So how, how it will be given? It will be given as sets capital account debit because it's a loss, right? So sets capital account debit to profit and loss suspense account. So that is why it is coming in the sets capital debit side to profit and loss suspense account. You can see here to profit and loss suspense account. Okay, to profit and loss suspense account in sets account. How much? 2,400. Okay, you have to count the for 73 days. Okay, that was a mistake. I skipped that. So for 73 days, you have to calculate. What was the loss? 60,000. 60,000 into set share is how much? 2 by 5, 2 by 10 into 73 by 365 days. So it is coming how much? 2,400. So it will be coming in a debit side as two sets, uh, two <coughs> profit and loss, suspense account, 2,400. Then after that, we'll go for the calculation of next amount that is uh, the goodwill. Okay, just a minute, the capital balance is there, it is done. Then this is done, the net amount, okay, goodwill is not mentioned here. The net amount payable, okay, that is the only thing. So goodwill is not mentioned here, nothing else is there. What is told here that the net amount payable to said executor was transferred to his loan account. Okay, now we are going to pay the settlement, there's nothing else. So we'll just balance the capital, we'll just balance the capital. Okay, first of all, we'll do only for set. So set we are going to balance in the credit side, we can see it is 2 lakh. 35,400 is to bring this side and you deduct it after deducting you can see that the balance is coming 1,61,000 right it is coming 1,61,000 okay 1,61,000 and what is also happening here you can see that prepare uh, okay um, yeah will be transferred to his executor account to, uh, to his loan account. the net amount payable to sales executor was to be transferred to his loan account which was to be paid later so this amount will be first of all transferred to executor account then from there it will go to the loan account so how it will go the general entry is like this sets capital account debit to sets executor account so sets capital account debit side you will write to sets executor account 161000 and sets executor trades side you will write by sets capital account 161000 right okay after that what is told it is told that and uh, what is the, the net amount payable to sales executor was to be transferred to his loan account, which will, which will be paid on later, uh, later, okay? And uh, prepare revaluation account, partner's capital account, sales executor account, and the balance sheet of Khanna and Mehta who decided to continue the business, keeping their capital, capital balance in their new profit sharing ratio, okay? Any surplus or deficit to be transferred to the current account. They will keep their capital account as they have decided to keep in the profit sharing ratio and if there is any extra money or any shortage of money they will adjust through current account okay so for the purpose of remaining partner what we will do okay for the purpose of remaining partner what we will do is that we will find out what is their new cap what is their capital first okay but before that you have to find out what is their adjusted capital so we will do the balancing in rough and you can see just so khanna is having you can just see that below working note has been done Khanna is having adjusted capital of 225000 after taking the total of credit side minus the debit side and Mehta is having uh, in the same calculation 4,8500 okay and the total capital is coming how much 6,53600 and uh, dividing this one in their new ratio so what was Khanna and Mehta's new ratio you can see the ratio is how, how, how it is given 3 is to 2 is to 5 so once 2 is over that means 3 is to 5 right so in 3 is to 5, if we divide, if we divide 6,53,600 in the ratio 3 is to 5, we can see that it will be 2,45,100 and 4,8,500, which is same. Okay, same like what it is, uh, the, what is the adjusted capital. So nothing to do here, only you are going to keep the balancing. Okay, 
had it had there been less or more amount you have to you have to write the difference in the current account okay either to current account or by current account of the partner right so here it is the same thing so we'll just do the balancing and we'll keep it to balance carried down to like 45 45100 and 48500 clear yeah. and now we'll take this balance to the executor account it will come in the sets executor uh, executor account by sets capital account 161000 and there is a very very important thing that is loan from set of 50000 this 50000 also will be coming in the loan account uh, in the sets account by sets loan account 50000 and after balancing how much is the amount 2 lakh 11000 will go in the uh, sets loan executors loan account okay it will be that is by two sets executors loan account okay two sets executors loan account clear yeah. and now we'll go for preparing the balance sheet i hope all of you understood this if it is little difficult then you hear again and again it will be clear so coming to the balance sheet in the library in the asset side we have land and building six lakh twenty thousand okay because you can already you have already seen that land and building it was five lakh right along with that we saw that there was a appreciation of one lakh twenty thousand so it became six lakh twenty thousand okay and then uh, goodwill is not there so remember that it is not there again machinery it will come to one lakh thirty five thousand because it is already told it is being depreciated to the uh, level it has been brought down to one lakh thirty five thousand right it has been depreciated to the extent of 35,000. On stock, it is again coming to 25,000. It is mentioned here. Okay, and debtors on 120,000, there will be a provision of 3,000. We have seen just now. Okay, and cash, there will be no change because there's no coming of money, going of money. So it will be the same. Profit and loss account will, will not be here. Okay, so it will come like this. Buy machinery is 135,000. Stock 25,000. Debtors 120. Less provision 3,000. 117,000. Okay, one lakh seventeen thousand and cash will have forty five thousand. Now coming to the liability side, we can see that capital will change definitely. What we will find in the capital account, we will see from there. So in the capital account, we saw that two lakh forty five thousand one hundred in case of Khanna and four lakh eight thousand. Okay, four lakh eight thousand five hundred in case of Mehta. So it will come like this to capital. Okay, sorry, capital account in uh, Holland Khanna two lakh forty five thousand one hundred, Mehta four lakh eight thousand five hundred. Then coming to the next one, we have got the next item as low, uh, creditor seventy five thousand, and there is a very this general reserve is not there. Obviously, loan from set is also not there, but there will be sets executor sets executors loan account okay and creditor okay, creditor is seventy five thousand. So the creditor will come here creditor seventy five thousand. And sets executors loan account of two lakh eleven thousand. Okay, two lakh eleven thousand. You can see from where you have got it here. Two lakh eleven thousand. Okay, two lakh eleven thousand. And after that, what do we have? We have profit and loss suspense account two thousand four hundred. This two thousand four hundred is nothing but the profit and loss suspense account balance. Okay, how this balance? Okay, we don't know what is going to happen exactly. So we are going to keep see. Why are keeping the liability side? Because of the fact that this is showing a credit balance here, because the general entry already we are taking it's the last year's profit. So how we are closing it? Partners, we, we, the general entry for this 2400 is sets capital account debit to profit and loss suspense account. Why? Because there was a loss. You can see profit and loss was appearing in the asset side of 60,000. Okay, 60,000. So it was the accumulated loss. It will be taken as accumulated loss, and that is why the general entry will be like this: sets capital account debit to profit and loss suspense account. So that is why profit and loss suspense is appearing in the liability side. Okay, as 2400. If this profit is the Okay, is it clear? I hope all of you understood that. This is a very, very important sum. Okay, also a complete picture of the chapter. Okay, then uh, I'll end up the class here. In the next class, we'll start with dissolution and we'll move forward with the chapter. Please take care of yourself and uh, do take care of your studies also. Bye-bye. And give your attendance.